Okay, Mr. Weather Channel, what's up with the umbrella? Well, it's that time of year, rain, sleet, rain, more rain, I'm gonna be ready. Yeah, but um, Chris, what makes you think it's gonna rain in here? Well, I went to the Fort Worth Zoo this weekend and they had animals lining up two by two. Speaking of rain, sometimes things just go down the drain, kind of like many of Chris's home improvement projects. Not true. True. But the fact is, you don't want to put just anything down the stormwater drain. Everything in our storm drain flows downstream to creeks, rivers, and lakes. Stormwater inlets are not to be used for dumping trash, grass clipping leaves, motor oil, or any other debris. That's why Fort Worth Stormwater Management Program is placing more inlet markers throughout the city to remind residents that stormwater inlets are intended solely for stormwater. The new stainless steel markers also provide an inlet identification number and a contact telephone number. To learn more about this and other stormwater issues, check out the city's website. The old saying goes that decisions are made by those who show up. If you want to be a decision maker and make a real difference in your neighborhood, then you need to show up to the spring session of Neighborhood University, February 18th, 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at the Hazel Harvey Peace Center for Neighborhoods at 818 Missouri Avenue. The event is open to anyone, but specifically targets neighborhood association leaders. Attendees can learn about a variety of topics and also have the opportunity to meet the neighborhood educator assigned to their area. There's a $5 non-refundable fee for the workshop. To learn more, call 817-392-6201 or visit the Neighborhood Education Office website. So, Chris, does all this rain you say is coming mean you have a do-it-yourself project this week? Maybe, but building an ark would be the easy part. It's telling the rabbits two, only two, that eats up all your time. So, Chris, does all this rain you say is coming mean you have a do-it-yourself project this week? Aye, but building an ark would be the easy part. Okay. It's constantly telling the little nippers two, only two, that eats up all your time. Mine went Australian. I couldn't do British. That was pretty Australian. <laughs>